They can also just go for a Benedetta here. That yep. works. It's another physical damage dealer for Falcon to pick up. But then again, it could be banned up by SA Onse. If you're, yeah. if you're just SA Onse, just double down or triple down on the X Billy. Knowing that you're all there, they have the Yuzhong. You have that secured. Just deny anything that uh, Falcon will have as comfort. Now, the interesting idea for Falcon is that they went for the higher pick instead of an X Billionaire, knowing that this is the only laner that can easily go up against the carry, or at least even up or square up against the carry in the laning stage. You still have to supplement it with a, 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 a frontliner. So I think that this will be a choice of a, a Grok, perhaps, or yeah. like you said, a Martis for the side of Falcon Esports. Not gonna be surprised if that will be the choice. Like, you pick that up in the XP lane as um, a, a tanky frontliner. I'm wondering too, right, if we see them actually lock in that Grok. We've seen Grok place in the XP lane so much, yeah. uh, whether it's with the Weapon Mastery or the High and Dry Emblem here. So, uh, but still, you're kind of in that position where, you know, how do we play around this? There's the March's pick, like you were just calling yeah. out, Mirko. Great option. We actually saw how tanky and durability yep. it could be in the last match and how uh, that damage. can be a, yeah, I mean, it's crucial for teams that play this Martis in the jungle because objectively now you've got to match that if you're S11 gaming. Now the thing is, is if they actually put pressure on this Harith pick specifically, you've got great burst potential and if you can shut that down and allow, again, carry to really shine in this game, you're going to set yourself up for success for S11 gaming. These last two picks, though, very crucial here for them, Wolf. You have to have a frontliner too. Uh, aside from the Kadida, you need something like a like a grab deck to control. It's great actually against the Harry if you think about it. But you give away the wall charge to the Valentina. But it's a choice that you have to make, or maybe a Lolita, mm. in fact, Ooh. for Sa Onse to kind of answer this. Well, and oh, it's, oh, wow! They take okay. your suggestion and they say no, no. I love it though. <laughs> Selena, I have not wow. seen this in a very long time. Debut I, for I, Selena I, at M4. Exactly. Is, I'm wondering, right? Is this really the game plan here? Uh, Selena and Kadida. And yeah, I mean, even looking at the players' reactions, right? I mean, I, I'm not sure 100% how they're feeling about it, but yep. this is something new, obviously, and it's also, it can be deadly here, especially you're talking oh. about pickoff potential. And the last pick for Falcon Esports is going to be this Ling here. How are we feeling about this, guys? It's a Marta's XP lane for Falcon, so that's just a solid matchup again, right? Yu Zong, sure, out sustains him, but if he can get out of the Fury's Knife that easily yeah. and get, can get trades down and all ins down yeah. the way he does, hey, I think Marta's actually takes it. Unfortunately, the Ling is uh, so much of a gamble I at this point for Falcon, but they know, but we know that they can really pull through with this. Why did they say that it's a gamble? There's so much crowd control on the opposite side. You have the Selena arrow, surely you can yeah. dodge that, but knowing that there could be other setups. Two like Petrifies. Two yeah. Petrifies. The Kadida and the Yuzhong, and then eventually the Pakita with the knockups. That can be followed up with the Selena arrow. There's so much control that can come out of SA Onse. That kind of makes this Ling a little bit scary, but... This is Falcon, dude. It's, <laughs> it's Falcon, dude. Falcon, Falcon dude. dude. All right. Well, we've seen both team compositions, and it's a do or die situation for S11 Gaming. Match point for Falcon Esports. Who takes game number two? If it's anything like day one, again, 2 0 all across the board. Falcon. Are they going to be able to do it? Or will SA on say break that curse here? Technically, the Paquito is also at a 100% win rate. And Jolton was the one who played it yesterday, too. Yeah, That's and I think, right. uh, I mean, in terms of just the Paquito alone, being in the jungle specifically, this is something we don't see too often, right? I mean, usually it's in that side lane, yeah. but still running the high and dry here, that burst potential, that snowball potential is really good, especially when you're pairing it with a Selena pick here. You can already see even Ken going to be the focus, but gets out of there fine still, though. Your pickoff potential with a Selena with Chan here is huge if he can land those Abyssal Arrows. Yeah. You can see a vertical jungling coming out from Falcon's uh, jungler Ken. After going for his purple buff, he went to the opposing grammar. I don't know if that will actually give him more gold, but so far it's so good coming out from uh, Falcon. And we know Ken, we can call him Ken the Man or Ken the Man. Hey, there are a lot of nicknames that Leo <laughs> created for yeah. him. The Candy Man, the, the can Burmese <laughs> Python, the I don't know. Python, you can, yeah. Or even the Dancing yeah, Peacock. Yeah. I'm, the I'm, dancing I'm pretty peacock. sure if you watch that video of Leo <laughs> yeah. out there, when, when he threw those names out there, Ken's face, yeah. just, read like, no, the, just read the no. room. <laughs> well. 
going back to the game, I, I mean, specifically, you guys make a good point, right? The Ling is kind of risky here, but still, I think you play off the fact that you have Naomi on this oh, contract oh, again. Oh, oh. They nailed him. Don't think they be knocked up, and that's the wow. collapse. First right. blood over to Ken. Good. Hey, that's going to be So arrow connecting, though, as well. Chan with an amazing pickoff. Both junglers falling early on, but Ken again with another first blood, dude. Uh, dude. The way that he, he passed it through the top lane, he went in for, like I said, vertical juggling for Ken, right? And then eventually, he noticed that his crammer is just, why is it not there? Why is it taken out? So he <laughs> smelled where Jotun was and then outplayed him. Unfortunately, he got hit by an arrow. Oh, yellow flash. Oh, that's oh, a oh, fine Papa Dog eliminates him. Justin also jumping with the Black Dragon form. Chance gonna fall to Naomi. Jota, no, he does not get the turtle with the red tree, but he does get it with a punch. He will fall to the hands of Falcon though. 1.2k gold lead. Well, and that's massive. Yeah. That's massive for Falcon because the fight that happened didn't have any jungler around, around it. Yeah. But there were many kills for Falcon. And then because of the fact that uh, Jotun is down for two deaths, Ken was able to get into his orange buff, which means that there will be a big advantage between the junglers that we have right now. I mean, not only that, but the fact that all those kills are pretty spread well here. Yeah. Makai in trouble. Oh, nice that's trouble. a 1v1. Zip picks one oh. more hit. Doesn't go for it. Erwin jumps in, doesn't get in range. He actually went for the flicker instead of the petrify. Oh, Naomi, though, he which has is no flicker. Interesting. Oh, Naomi. Oh, oh flicker's <laughs> forward. Just quits Kai, takes him back down. Erwin now alone, jumps in on the Zipix. No petrify to lock him down. He also has that purified Abyssal arrow whiffing there, and Justin just gets out free. I don't understand why they did not go for the petrify on the Kadita. That really is trippy. And Ken already. Three blades. It's going to be enough. Oh. Might go for Papadog again. Oh, oh, there it is. One HP. He, he finds it with the orange buff. Gets oh. out. Just walks away. Move. Yellow flash, though. No. Uh oh. Johnson's looking for him, chasing him down. Yellow flash, trying to get away. He gets oh. out with a flicker, too. That's why you call him the yellow flash. Yeah, I mean, he flickered out of there just in time. And I mean, okay, going back to all the points here in the last couple minutes, still. Interesting match, right? There's a lot of action four minutes in, yeah. and it's great to see. But again, if you're S11 Gaming, you got to be worried that look at this distribution of these kills here, as well as the gold. It's 3K ahead for Falcon Esports. Wow. It's very well spread. Naomi again with a lead in the, the kills with Zipex, and now the focus. Irwin can find it here in the bottom side. Up until now, there are questions being uh, asked here. Why didn't Irwin go for the Petrify? And that really gave them a big disadvantage because we were talking about how much they can change their stunts and how much they can control both the Hearth and the Ling. And that's all down the drain because now we'll have to rely on a Petrify on it to this Yu Zhong. And you can see them just really struggle against Falcon's aggression because everybody's just outplaying each other. Yellow Flash is outplaying his lane matchup. You can see Zipix just winning the lane matchup oh. versus Kai. Naomi too gets a Divine Judgment. Erwin. He gets the rough waves out in time, but he is going to lose out on that kill pressure again. Mid lane pushed in, shoved in. That's the Abyssal Arrow connecting, oh. and Jota's going to be able to follow that up. Knockout strike. Chan finds that kill. Chan looking for some compensation as he dashes in. Oh. Has a time of the blades. Gets Jota knocked up. No, he doesn't, but he does find three blades. Oh. Chan oh. styling, dashing all across the place. That was clean, right? That was, that was I mean, that was a great play from Ken here, and it's really that tough sweet. to... Something that was candy sweet, man. dude. Candyman. And uh, maybe it sticks, right? But Chan, I mean, the arrows have been landing when they, where they need to. It just isn't enough time. And I feel like a big question, too. Again, Erwin here with no Petrify. Every time we've... Oh, Erwin. Okay, he's going to rough waves out. But still, every time we see a Kadita pop up with a flicker, I feel yeah. like that's usually cause for discussion. Because, yeah. man, people are like, why do you not roll with that Petrify? Now, you have to consider the fact, too, there's two purifies here for Falcon Esports. That's right. So even those, the CC available to S11, they've got to get through that first. Yeah, absolutely. Now well, Zipix is already up with the, feather, with the Feather of Heaven, but the Conceal play might be really bad oh. for s oh. Again, no Petrify. You can see the impact here. Ken is going to be able to actually get Naomi. closer. Naomi finds the Divine Judgment. You can say goodbye to Erwin. Zipix still going through. Oh, oh that's a Mon Force forcing the Flicker out from Chan. Ken picks up the tier one in the bottom lane, and it's a 4,000 gold lead, eight to two this time around. I don't know. That's a good piece of arrow, but no follow-up. And that's the reason why you pick up the Hyreth against the carry, or 
You know, you see the late matchup really going in their favor. Papa Dog is going to be able to get that Black Dragon form. The rough wave is stolen away by Justin. Means that he can get out of that. Uh, As you were saying, Wolf. Yeah, I mean, you can see Harith winning his lane matchup already, and now he's able to push up his own lane, stealing the damage as intended with the Purify Harith. It's very difficult now to deal with him, especially with all the items he has. He can even push turrets because of his itemization and the natural progression coming up from the Harith. This is an uncontested Harith game, and Falcon are really just enjoying it, styling over SA Onze. <laughs> Check, wow. out, check this out, right? The M4 stat, Selena's debut in M4 after 51 games. I mean, and to be honest, she's got two kills right here for Chan, and the, the, I, I feel like she's the big thing... She's got 100% of the kills. 100% of the kills, yeah, she does, but Conceal Play, they're looking for another here. Justin, able to dash out. That's Zipix jumping in with some on force, and Jolton's gonna be melted down here. Able to oh. dash away for a bit, but now it's the complete collapse coming in from Falcon as they are looking for their targets. Ken, on the wall, just chilling, backing off. This is what Falcon does so well. When they have these kind of leads, they just keep pushing the gas, right? They, they literally leave their foot on the pedal here, and it's really hard to stop it because S11 Gaming, again, you're at some, of, at some point of a disadvantage. Ken gonna be just fine, gets out of there, taking just jungle after jungle. And like I said, this snowball effect, this momentum yeah. that we brought up earlier is apparent here in this game too. They're not stopping. And they're even controlling uh, multiple parts of the map at the same time. Here with no Petrify, no lockdown. He missed. And even the Selena, right? Abyssal Arrow connecting dive with Divine Judgment over the Papa Dog. He disappeared. Ken now. Ooh, he was looking for that kill right there. Jolton comes in with two jabs. Uh -oh, He's no. gonna be melted down. He's oh, the one assassinated from his engage. It's a two for zero. Falcon walking the base down. But you can see that Abyssal Arrow instantly negated by Yellow Flash, who can actually just cancel the CC. Hey, just as, as I say that, Chan picks up the kill flickering forward. That's the third kill for S11 and the third kill for Chan. Oh, they're playing with him now, man. Justin's not even hitting him. I mean, he gets out of there. That's the thing, right? Chan is, I guess you could say, the saving grace here for S11, but to what extent, at what point, you know, does this keep working? It's just a couple kills. You're still working against a massive gold lead in favor of Falcon Esports, and this should just be a free lord for them because, hold on, S11 Gaming going in. This is a Hail Mary play. Papa Dog only finding Justin, but has a rough wave. Zipix now completely free hitting, Welcome. using the Zaman Force over. Jolton's gonna be melted down. Naomi's gonna be able to actually deal a little bit more damage before Jolton comes in with a Retribution, but it does not save his life. The killing spree for Zipix. A three for zero for Falcon, and that's a free lord over. The Hail Mary play coming up from S.A. Onsen did not work because all of a sudden Justin had a rough waves stolen ultimate to keep him alive and even punish Eseonse. Papadog was in a very tight spot already as well as Irwin. They're taking out easily. Then Jordan. every time he jumps in forward because he doesn't have enough itemization as well as the fact that he is very squishy, he gets punished by Falcon so easily. And it's going to be very difficult now. No ultimate available for Papa Dog. This might be it for oh. Falcon. Naomi finds the Divine Judgment. Papa Dog melts it down. Ken getting the knock up onto two. Jotun forced to run away. Ken gets caught in the abyssal. Arrow jumps out of the fish. Boys gets out alive. Erwin is going to be the one falling to the hands of Justin as he jumps in for more damage onto Kai. S11 surviving another day. Naisu, what you got to say, bro? I mean, 10 and a half minutes in, base half health here. That could have been an end game there, but still, Falcon Esports pressing the situation here. They do want to end this before it gets too late. They've got a massive lead. They're going to be woke for working on these inhibitor turrets. They still got the top one. And S11 Gaming, they've got to defend here the best they can with the tools that they have. Man, they took two base turrets down with the passive still intact. It's meant to clear out waves. It's meant to prevent these 10-minute ends. But Falcon, with their 13,000 gold lead, are going to look for the end here with a mid-wave. Papa Dog with Black Dragon form, zoning Ooh. Falcon away, but he's going to be melted down. What happened? Oh. Now you see him, now you don't. What the heck? Disappearing from the map. That's Jotun too. Three members, four members, everyone just falling left and right. Tan able to find the Abyssal Arrow, but Yellow Flash is a bit too tanky. Falcon do not want to end. Ken wants to chase. Finally, they go in for the end, and it's a clean sweep. 15,000 gold lead. No chance. 
for SL City to come back from that. Vanguard did not let go of the grip. They tightened it every, every single second of follows. They went in to control the map after their early spike. Simultaneously pushing the waves, not giving any free kills to the side of SA Onse. And all of the choices that the Argentinian squad made from the draft to the battle spell to the first few rotations did not work against the titanic team that we know of Falcon. I mean, there we go. Both teams showing the respect here. Unfortunately for S11 Gaming, they are going to be knocked out of the M4 tournament here. And just sportsmanship, very important between these two teams. And what can we say, Naomi, back-to-back -back MVP performance, taking out S11 Argentina out of M4. It was a crucial series. And there you go, both teams. Give them a round oh, of applause here. That's beautiful. I love it, right? Out of the competition, they are all friends. And you could say, you could see it there displayed. Falcon are going to make their victory march down the stage here. Well, that was the first series of the day. Again, thank you guys so much. We'll be back after this. It's me, Naiso, Mirko, and Wolf. Analysts, break this one down.